G'day. Welcome to Ollie 35mm, user-based, quasi-empirical, cheap and cheerful videos on Olympus 35mm cameras. Now, today's uh, review is the uh, 1963 model uh, Olympus S. Now, I have to profess to, to not knowing too much actually about this um, particular uh, camera. Sorry, I'm just going to move my screen there so I can see what's going on. Uh, too much about this camera. I can't find too much on the internet. I don't have uh, any um, uh, manuals or books on it or anything. Um, there's one very nice uh, Chinese uh, blog uh, that has some beautiful photographs and a little bit of information, but... Really, pretty much, that's all I've been able to get. So I've run a um, roll of film through it. It's pretty basic, so I'll give you a bit of a rundown on, on the little bits that I, I know. Uh, anybody in the comments uh, would like to add some more, um, has access to a manual electronically um, or a link or something like that, then I'd love to, um, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I'm sure the, uh, the, other, um, the other viewers would as well. Okay, so the, uh, the Olympus S, um, what's it all about? Uh, it's a rangefinder camera. You can see the viewfinder and the rangefinder window there. This one's particularly um, uh, in quite good condition. The uh, viewfinder seems to um, uh, be quite bright. Uh, the actual little square for the, the rangefinder is white. It might have been yellow once, I don't know. Um, but it's still uh, quite easy to use. Um, CDS uh, light meter um, eye. Uh, this has a, uh, a built-in light meter and you will actually uh, get two indications and the, the little button um, actually turns your light meter on so it's not on all the time like some of the other models, which is a good thing. Uh, the little button will then either move a needle here um, or actually in the viewfinder uh, at the top there's a little needle as well. Uh, the centre section, uh, you've got uh, proper exposure. Uh, you have um, speeds, um, shutter speeds that is. Uh, you have the standard B setting. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, standard B setting, uh, one second. Uh, if I can get it to move. One second. Turn it the right way and that'll help. Um, through to, and I don't think that was actually one second by the way. Through to 500th of a second um, sitting around here. Uh, again, I don't think you can quite actually see that. In fact, you can't actually see it under normal conditions either. Uh, the um, aperture range is, is a lovely, nice and bright uh, 1.8, f1.8 uh, through to uh, f16. Uh, you have uh, depth of field indicators uh, on the uh, on the barrel of the lens, which is nice. And it's focusing from, well, it says 0.85 metres, but I reckon it's more like about 0.6 from what I can tell, uh, through to infinity, obviously. Um, ASA range or, or film speed range uh, is, is a very low 10. I don't know if there's such a thing as a as, as a 10 speed film these days, but anyway, it's there. Um, through to a, quite a reasonable 800, so that's um, quite handy. Uh, a lot of the cameras around about this era uh, tended to be sort of like stay at 400, so that's really quite handy. Um, single stroke, uh, nice quiet, or uh, well, reasonably quiet, uh, copal shutter. Um, this one still seems to be uh, quite accurate. Um, there's your um, focusing um, assistance, I suppose, or my handle. Oops, there we go. Focusing uh, handle there. Um, I think you can see that. Um, and, uh, yes, a so single stroke, um, film counter, this is a nice, um, little, um, uh, addition, uh, it will tell you, um, or let you set what type of film, uh, that you've got in there, obviously you have to do that manually, uh, this is a pan, a panachromic, um, uh, this one says empty, well, let's leave it on empty, because it's, uh, it is actually empty. Um, it takes a, <laughs> it seems to be uh, the usual at the moment, it takes a, um, a PX625 battery, 1.35 5 volt um, uh, mercury, um, I'm going to have a future video fairly soon talking about uh, some of the alternatives uh, because you can't actually buy the 1.35 volts um, anymore in the mercury, you can get them zinc air which I've, I've got in here at the moment, you only get about 4 or 5 months out uh, uh, life out of them though. Uh, to open it up, there's a little slide that you pull down, pops over the back, um, standard um, affair with the um, uh, the rewind, uh, sorry, wind and, and rewind. Um, I'll just show you the 
And I'll just slow it down a little bit so you can see it a bit better. A shutter. And I've got it on F16, so I'll just move that around to f one point eight so you can see it a bit better. Okay, there you go. Um, it uh, also has there's your, your rewind release um, down the bottom. Sorry, I'm getting this on the top of the screen today. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Um, rewind release at the bottom. Tripod screw, which is right in the center, which is actually very, very nice. Always nice to have your tripod um, um, uh, acceptor or tripod screw acceptor uh, right in the center of your lens. It's just a little bit easier, especially if you're doing panoramas and uh, things like that. Um, then you have a self-timer. And this one, I've got absolutely no idea. Let's see. I reckon that was about 12 seconds, roughly. So somewhere around about um, 12 seconds. Um, the uh, lens is, is quite um, reasonably sharp and, and contrasty. I've uh, quite enjoyed uh, using it. it um, it's pretty basic. You can use it without the uh, battery if you wish. Um, this one set me back about $65. I'll have to be honest with you, I've got no idea whether it was a good price or a bad price, but I'm uh, certainly uh, quite happy uh, with what I got. This one came with a case. Um, so that's uh, the Olympus S, one of the uh, the older models uh, in the uh, in the Oli 35 collection. Um, not the oldest, but uh, getting fairly close to it. So there it is. Thank you very much for um, listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll uh, see you in the next review. Okay, bye.